One, two. of Bill Morgan, who passed away on Monday, and a member of uh, when Andrew he is in Baptist uh, Lisa Walker, who is Laurie Rudd's sister, is you in Vanderbilt Hospital. And Roger Jarrett will have shoulder surgery uh, the 26th of this month. Uh, so VBS starts tonight at 6 p.m. And yes, so if you bring cookies, just drop them off in the gym. And then on Wednesday evening, we'll have our regular scheduled. Uh, and also. End of our. Everyone is encouraged on Wednesday night for our VBS. A lot, a great deal of children to be there. Do not park on the so stay off the first row. Dear church family, to our family and me with your prayers and good deeds these are immeasurable loss that you have given to us Christ the King I'm 34 and the Lord the brothers who are crushed in spirit. Thank you. Other announcements? I'll turn it over to you. Well, to use your books so we get started because we don't. The song is 147. And if you'd like to program the next song, it's uh, 523, 527. Uh, 
Opening prayer. The Lord will find a way for me. I know. I want pray with me. Lord, we thank you for this. Pray that you would sick and those that are bereaved, pray to 
have the uh, conflicts going on in our country. We pray for our, our service people. We pray for the police. Pray that you be with us this afternoon, be with Mark as he brings our lesson, help us as we worship together to learn from your word, as we sing together to encourage and admonish one another, and as we come to you in prayer to be thankful for all the things that we have, and to be mindful of all the blessings that you give us. For those shortcomings that we have, we recognize Set for us. We thank you for him and for the avenue of prayer we have in his name. Amen. Encouragement. Uh, before we. Three, four, four. Excellence of the power died, <coughs> yet not crushed. But not destroyed. Of Jesus.
for we who live sake, that the life of Jesus is working in us. Day. Glad that you're here. For three hours, depending on what you do at VBS. But I'm um, glad that we're able to be here today. Maybe you. Plastic cup. Have to do. Some glasses. That you keep in the cabinet. You can just look at. Do you ever have a mama that had to find China that way? Well, that's sort of the illustration that Paul is using here. She so reads through the book of 2 Corinthians. Paul spends a lot. Another through their suffering. Her weave all through the book. This can't outline Second Corinthians. Not like we outline some of these. Mind. It's easy to read, but it's chapter four. Minutes, and I start to ask again, but they tell me. Jar clay. And we think about that, and we think, well, that doesn't fit me at all, because I'm worth a whole lot. Because those dishes get chipped, those dishes get tarnished, those dishes get lost. But when you really boil it down, what we have right here is just a very that has a soul we're actually a soul that has a body. That has a soul. Now, that's backwards from what most people think because their emphasis is on this. This work. Much of our time doing. Some of our jars are a little bit and some of our jars are a little bit more worn out than other jars. But your body is a gift from God. The way Paul would put it a little bit earlier in the book, you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. I ran across a saying the other day, I found it. It's talking about what you use your body for. And what it says is a bar, a bar of iron. So about about five dollars, but you make it into horseshoes, and it's going to Instead of making horseshoes, you make nails, it's going to be worth around $250 because it makes a whole lot of nails. But if you spring for watches, way dollars 
make it worth $50, or you can make it worth $3,000. Closes and says, you're of yourself. Every one of them. Sixty-five month in a year, and because I didn't, and I'm in the same place that I was. God, play in many ways is that we place inside us here. What is outside is not worthless. That's placed in. And as we look at it in context, Paul is saying, yes, I realize the greater preacher or Cephas or Peter has greater impact and greater People look down on him because he said it doesn't matter what's out here. It matters what the spirit of the Lord is. Today, you and I go through life. And maybe you're in a difficult home situation and you have people say things to you that aren't helpful. Yes, outwardly, you're a jar of clay. But inwardly, you This passage here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, looking at verse 7. You see in verse 8, and he talks about the difficulties he has. He says, we're afflicted in every way, but not crushed. He says, destroyed. He said, we all always carry about us, in us, the death of Jesus. But that life of Jesus is also shown. Paul says, talked about the shipwrecks he'd been through, and the times he'd been beaten with rods, and the times he'd beaten with, had been beaten with whips. He talked about the times that he was stoned and people tried to execute him. And it all these things had happened to him. Outward circumstances. Each one of us are going to face times. What defines our character, what defines our nature, what defines who we are, is how we do And how it is that you show your faith on those days when it looks like faith won't get you through. And so it's important for us as we think about these jars of clay that we recognize that no matter what is happening on the outside, inside we keep that treasure. While there's death, while we're we are also alive to Christ. Paul would repeat this thought process in 1 Corinthians when he says, While our outward man is perishing, our inward man is being renewed day by day. I haven't had the opportunity yet to experience old age. But it's interesting watching the way people are. When they're in high school, they can do anything all day, right? 
They can run, 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 and they can play, play, play. Our 13 or 16, I think it was 16 fellas and girls who went to camp this last week were out there in a 100-degree temperature, out there uh, working hard, running every day. They come back, they sleep for 12 hours. Today they look just absolutely normal. But you put somebody like me outside for six hours and I don't want to do anything. And you put somebody even older and it's difficult for them as well. But while we age, we're able to do less and less. Spiritually speaking, we grow and we're able to do more and more. As you look at your life, how is it that you're growing? What ways are you maturing? While you have that outward jar of flesh, what have you filled your life with? Is it filled with the treasures of God? Are you placing Him first and foremost in every aspect of life? Let's be sure that we treasure what God has given to us. And let us be sure that we're living the way God wants us to live. This afternoon, if you need to obey the invitation of Christ and obey the gospel, or this afternoon, if you need the prayers of the saints, we invite you to come forward as we stand and as we sing. taken of the Lord's Supper today, then this is your opportunity. If you would go to the library, that will be prepared for you. Let's sing 683. 683, and then we'll have a closing prayer.
pray with me, please? Our Heavenly Father, we come to the close of another service here today. We're so thankful for the opportunity that we've had to partake of this service and the good lesson that we've heard. We pray that each one of us now will go out into the world and strive to do more of your work and to be more like your son. Our Heavenly Father, we know we fail in so many ways. and We're weak, and we ask that you continue to forgive us and continue to give us the strength that we can carry on and do your will. Our Heavenly Father, the world's in a turmoil, as you well know. Give us the strength to stand up for what's right and tell people the truth and not let the other things go by and let it continue to dominate people. Our Heavenly Father, we ask you to be with those who lost loved ones. Comfort them. We know that they need your comfort and you can give it to them. Peace. We ask that you be with everyone here, give them a safe travel, and help us come back at the next appointed time. And forgive us when we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're dismissed.